Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition using the Eurocode requirements. Over the next series of videos, we will show you the complete workflow for performing a design on steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition using the Eurocode requirements. In this video, we're going to be focusing on preparing our model for design. As we get started, we're going to now turn our attention to our sample model that was supplied with this training course. In STAD Pro Connect Edition, the typical workflow is to move from left to right through the workflow page control area. Before we begin the design process, let's first familiarize ourselves with the steel structure by reviewing the information that has already been created. If we were to take a look at the properties area, we will see that section properties and material properties have already been assigned to all of the members and plates in this model. This model contains ISP sections, square, SHS sections, steel angles, steel rods, and steel plates. Let's also take a look at the analysis area. For this model, we will be performing a P delta analysis that considers both P large delta and P small delta effects. Every model must contain an analysis command before invoking the design process. Now that we have become comfortable with this model, we'll now move on to the design process, which will begin by specifying the appropriate steel design code. To do that, we're going to move on to the design tab in the workflow page control area. Now by default, the steel design dialog should be shown on your screen. To switch between steel design, concrete design, or aluminum design, you can select any of your design commands area through the analysis and design tab of your ribbon toolbar. We're going to make sure the steel design tab is selected. Next, in our steel design dialog, we're going to select the code that we will be using for the design process. For this model, we're going to select the EN 1993 design code. Now, after you select your current code to the Eurocode, we're also going to want to tell the program which national annex we'll be using. To do that, we're going to come down to the steel design dialog and click on the define parameters button. Within this area, we're going to find the NA parameter to tell the program which national annex we'll be using. Now, the default is set to zero, meaning that the program will perform the design without any of the national annex requirements. So instead of that, for this model, let's go ahead and select, set our national annex to the UK. We'll go ahead and click the Add button and then click Close. Now, if we scroll down in the steel design dialog, we're going to see that now officially our steel design code has been selected and we'll be using the UK National Annex for this particular model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.